Well, uh, you no, know, jiu-jitsu in Brazil is a pretty common sport, and um, Brazilians are very involved with martial arts, judo, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai. So, in, in Rio, there is a huge community of jiu-jitsu. Now it's spread all over Brazil, but back in the day, jiu-jitsu was a pretty famous sport in, in, in Rio de Janeiro, the place I was growing up. And uh, I was a very intense kid. I, was, I had a lot of energy. And then when I was five, when I was five to six years old, uh, my mother took me to the doctor because I couldn't stop him for a second. So she, so she asked the doctor, what, what, what should I do? What she, her, her should do to, to, you know, to keep me calm? So, and the doctor said, yeah, you should put him in my sport. Why not jiu-jitsu? So I went to jiu-jitsu. Well, uh, it's hard to say, but I've been, I've been all over. I've been training judo, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, MMA. I think my biggest achievement, achievement is after 20 years of, of career, professional career, and being with almost 48 years old, my biggest achievement is to keep on training, being respected, and, and the most important is uh, still having the will to train and learn and keep going. I think pretty much is that. I think you got to enjoy more the path. You gotta enjoy more to train than to win. And uh, I don't have any ambitions concerning titles and victories because I truly understand my limitations. Uh, but still, I like to train, I like to keep in shape, I like to surf, I like to play soccer, I like to be feeling good. And uh, I feel very comfortable and very very uh, happy on the mat, so uh, I think that's the most motivation, you know, people, I feel good, I feel healthy, people like me to, to see me on the mat and, and, and I, I like to be on the mat and, and as much as I can help people to get, get better in jiu-jitsu and get better in life and as much as I can learn with those people as well, is a, is a good motivation to keep going. Well, uh, everything is involved, you know, Jiu-Jitsu, like everything else, is mutant, you know, it's going to be moving around and developing and getting better. Uh, I think it's a question of trying to catch up with the development, and I, I've been trying to do that, although I've not been fighting Jiu-Jitsu for so long, I've been fighting in submission wrestling, but... Uh, a lot of people complain about this and that, the old jiu-jitsu, the new jiu-jitsu. I think that it's just jiu-jitsu. It's just a matter of when you start and when you finish the training, when you stop training. When you start training, when you stop training. That's, that's the question. If you start training and you, and you didn't stop, you are evolving. If you stop, you, you stopped. So you, you won't evolve anymore. So, I, it's hard for me to compare because I didn't stop training, but uh, I think people having the same will to win, the same ambitions. The only difference I see today is, we, is, is that we have more chances to survive using uh, uh, the jiu-jitsu, the sport of jiu-jitsu as a profession. My time was pretty hard. The options were not so much found on the environment but today you know you have jiu-jitsu in dubai you have jiu-jitsu in australia in england all over so that's the difference you have more options and it really depends who is still training from back in the day to today and if you're still training you gotta develop new skills and adapt yourself as you said there's the old school and the new school. Pretty much, things have changed. You know, uh, now we have UAE, who is changing the sport a lot, especially because they are giving the motivation of prize money, and uh, and uh, and th this is making the difference. The competition is not just on the mat now; it's outside the mat as well. So, again. 
I always believe in meritocracy. If you fight hard, if you train hard, if you really want to, to overcome your limits and if you really want to be victorious in what you do, you gotta be rewarded. On my time, I just fought for a medal. Uh, today, I would, my will would be the same, but of course, the only difference is that I would be, my, my career would last longer because I would have the conditions to support my family financially. So I think this is an upside. So uh, you're gonna see, I can tell, but uh, there's natural selection. One day, I, th I think, prize money, if you keep going, continue like that, if the spots, spot continue to grow, prize money is gonna make the difference. And, and, and who pays more is gonna be the most important tournament. And, and, and once again, you're gonna be better paid and, and you're gonna get in a point that Abu Dhabi Pro is gonna be bigger than the Worlds because the best are gonna be here. Well, the concept of having a lighter opponent beating a stronger opponent existed because the lighter opponent knew Jiu-Jitsu and the other opponent didn't knew any Jiu-Jitsu. No matter what, if you are stronger, if you are faster, if you have more endurance, <clears throat> if you have the same level of skill, who's gonna win? Who is stronger and faster? Right? If you are the same, <clears throat> the level of skill matters if the other guy doesn't know anything. If my level of skill is the same as you have, I'm, if I'm stronger than you, most likely I'm gonna win the fight. That's, that's, the, that's why you have weight divisions. Way back in the day, in UFC started. Why UFC was born, was invented, to prove that a, a, a fighter could be better than the other one, right? But back in the day, that time, nobody knew about jiu-jitsu. And most likely all the fights would end up on the floor where we, we Brazilians has, have more skills and chances to win. After two, three, four UFCs, people, people are not stupid. They start to learn. You had the internet, you have the videotapes. So they're stronger, realize that if he knew some jiu-jitsu, he could avoid the jiu-jitsu technique. Then the fights start to get pretty even. So it's a matter of knowledge. It's a matter of of uh, amount of um, knowledge that you, you obtain. And of course, if you're stronger, you're gonna win, I think.